Hey, what's up? My name is Omari Harabin, and this video is about uh, the difference between Weebly and Weebly for Designers. Now, um, what you're actually looking at right here is a Squarespace template. Um, and what I initially started doing was seeing if I could recreate this template uh, in Weebly. Um, I've never used Weebly before. This was my first time using Weebly. And so I wanted to, um, you know, use, use something that was familiar to me, Squarespace, um, and use that to see if I can, you know, recreate that in Weebly. Now, what, what I did was I started with, um, you know, Weebly.com, create a website, and I quickly ran into a couple of, um, a couple of limitations. Um, one, I couldn't create a blog, uh, and two, um, I couldn't really do much customization other than just, there wasn't much customization. Um, and so then I went looking, okay, how do I create a blog? It seems weird that I can't create a blog with this website builder. And that's when I stumbled on Weebly for Designers. Now, Weebly for Designers seems to be a slightly different um, platform. And I'm, I'm not sure if the difference or the split has to do with, with uh, Square when they bought Weebly. I'm assuming so. Um, and I'll show you what both look like in a moment. Um, but this is Weebly for designers. And there's some, it's the same templates. It's the same themes as just straight up Weebly. See, um, the difference is, of course, the platform. You can customize with this. Uh, a lot more ways to customize. Um, you can create a blog. You can create a store. All of that. Um, and then the pricing is like designed for designers. So um, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but it's different than the straight up Weebly pricing. So um, let's take a look. So this is the, of course, the template that I wanted to replicate. And this is regular Weebly. So uh, one thing I liked about this regular, simpler version of Weebly, whatever it is, um, is it was in fact simple and easy to use. And so everything was just a matter of adding sections. So as you can see here, we've got this main header section, um, it's featured gallery, just a big image, a um, couple of images, a newsletter sign up, and this kind of simple layout with the image and some text over here. And it was actually really simple to just add those sections in. Favorites here, that uh, newsletter sign up. Oh, it looks like I'm missing a few sections. Um, but I can show you, you know, let's say we wanted to add text in the image. Boom. Um, maybe we'll just add that. And then you can see you can change the layout style. So this is what this is what I wanted. Um, and that, that's really fast. It's really quick and easy. You know, you can map that out really quickly and <laughs> easily. I said it once again. All right. Um, but then the drawback is, let's say I want to, to move any of these. I can't move anything. You know, everything is kind of based off of selecting a layout and then going with that, which is, which is all right. Um, if I add a, a description here. Um, this group. Um, I can make the text large. This is large. I can't make it any bigger than that. Uh, I can change the font. Um, but I'm, I'm generally, generally limited in terms of what I, in terms of customizing the layout. Gives me a lot of, um, gives me a lot of, uh, yeah, I forget my thought. <laughs> All right, so this is Weebly straight up. Um, some pros and cons. It's it's easy to add sections. You can't create a blog and you can't customize any of the themes. Uh, you're very limited there. But if we head on over to Weebly for designers, you can see there's a lot more going on here. Um, there's a lot more for me to for me to play with. 
However, there is one immediate drawback that I noticed, and that was that I couldn't edit this header layout, which I wanted to do um, to match, you know, our header over here. And as you can see, I was able to do that with Weebly, but with Weebly for designers, I would need to um, I would need to customize the theme, the HTML, to do that. Now, obviously, I mean, luckily you can do that. However, it would be much easier to just choose the right layout. Um, and then I'm just going to quickly scroll, right? You can see this isn't as attractive as the, the demo I put together previously. And, you know, I, I literally spent maybe 60 seconds on this. However, you can see the 60 seconds I spent on the other Weebly, you know, um, it still looked decent. Um, over here, it seems like I have to do a lot more work to, to kind of get a style and design that, that, that suits me. Um, and that's fine, right? But you know, clearly this is for designers, so that's what a designer wants to do. Um, you can, you know, move around these, these blocks. Um, you know, it's, it's flexible. You can obviously, like I said, you can add a blog here. Um, you can switch out the theme. You can uh, create some products and set up a store. Uh, you can add some apps <clears throat> um, and then play with your settings, your SEO settings, that type of thing. And so it's, you know, it, it's good. Um, I don't, I wouldn't necessarily use Weebly for designers over Squarespace. Um, I feel like with Squarespace, you know, out the box, I, I think I get a much better product. Um, a much better site building experience. And I, I, I'm probably biased um, just because I've, I've been working with Squarespace for such a long time. Um, but on the flip side, I, I do really like just Weebly straight up. If I was creating, you know, really fast e-commerce sites or I needed an e-commerce site really quickly, really simply, um, I would probably start here. Uh, just because it's just kind of like a seamless experience. But if I need content, then, you know, I would I would need a blog uh, and then I would need either Weebly for designers or I'd probably just stick with Squarespace uh, since it accomplishes the blog, the commerce, and all of the design needs that, that you may have, whether it's simple or you want to get really custom. So hopefully... Um, this video is helpful to you if you watched it all the way. It probably has been. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, to share that there is, in fact, a difference between just straight up Weebly and Weebly for designers and isn't apparent from the home page. It isn't apparent that you can, you know, access this other version of Weebly, uh, but you can't. So there you go. All right. Peace.